All right, week five, assignment two. So I did a prep work on this assignment. It was taking longer than I expected to. Um, I know I focused on volume last video. So here I'm gonna try to do some surface areas from scratch with some prep work and formulas. Um, but here it is, uh, number one. Here we have the volume. We wanna find volume of this pyramid a rectangular pyramid so the formula for volume is area of the base times the height so from the bottom the center of the pyramid to the peak of the mountain so the, to the peak of the pyramid so here this is going to be our height so again center to the height so my h is 13 I plug it in. Now my base, area of the base is just length times width. So here I pick length to be 21 and my width to be 8. So then I plug it in. 8 times 21 is 168 meters square since it's area. So again, I'm going to try to focus in the units at the end. Hopefully, you guys understand units of measure already. So 168 times 13 is 2,184. I divide that by three, and then my volume is 728 meters cubed. That is how you find volume. And again, uh, these are examples of so number two. Uh, volume equals pi r squared times a. There's formulas there, so if you see the examples. Again, this is just a recap, a review. Now, uh, moving on to the next one. Three. So prism, hopefully everybody feels the same way, that it is fairly easy since it's just volume equals length times width times height. So here, the way I did it here, and just to be a little bit different, right? You see these little squares? That means this is the bottom of, of the rectangular prism. So that means that this is the base, right? So if I tilt this up, I know it looks like a cereal box, but just for, you know, making it different. My height is 5 centimeters, so it's 5 centimeters tall, all right? My width, all right, is 14 centimeters wide, all right? And then my length is 18 centimeters. So length times width times height, multiply them all together, and your volume equals 1,260 centimeters cubed. That is how you do that one. Now here, the one next to it, uh, we have x squared plus 12 squared equals 37 squared. We do this, sometimes we have to use Pythagorean theorem just to find the missing side. So right here, it doesn't have the height, so that's how you find it. So you do Pythagorean theorem, and we're going to do some with Pythagorean theorem as well. So number five. Here, number five. Again, we're looking for a volume. So volume is area of the base times the height, the height between the bases. So the height here is six centimeters, sorry, six meters. So it is from this base here to this base here. And the bases are trapezoids. So that is a height between bases. So we label it as big H. And that is six, we plug it in here. Now to find this base, the formula for trapezoid to find the area is little h times b1 so little b1 7 plus b2 is 16 so add those up I get 23 and then I multiply by 13.3 I get 305.9 I then divide that by 2 which gives me 152.95 and I plug it in so then I multiply those two numbers 152.95 times 6 which gives me the volume so I know I just kind of breeze through this, but we did this in the last video, so I'm not trying to focus too much on it. And again here, number six, they're using Pythagorean theorem to find a missing side. And that is how you do number six. Just kind of examples if you guys want to learn. I don't know if there's a number on the side there. Yeah, so in case you want to see the whole picture, 16.8. All right, so now we're going into surface area. So here, surface area.
we had to find the outside. So it's like wrapping a present. How much wrap paper do you need to wrap this triangular box? Uh, what we have to do here is find the height. So it's going to be the height of the bases. So the height between the bases. So my H is going to be here. So here my H is going to be 3 feet. Now the perimeter is the perimeter of the base. So the perimeter of the base is going to be 10 feet plus 11 feet plus 9 feet. So this is the same as this. So this is 9 feet. So let me write that down here. So P equals perimeter of the base. Of the base. So it's going to be just P equals 10 plus 11 plus 9. So here we go, 9 and 11 is 20, 20 plus 10 is 30, so it's 30 feet. That's my P, so now I'm going to just start plugging it in here. Is H is 3, my P is 30, plus 2 times area of the base. Now the area of the base is just a triangle, area of a triangle. so. I have my height here, so let me see if I could fit it in here. So let's do B equals oh sorry B equals eleven. So the whole thing, the whole thing. Last time I only did half of it. Eleven times my height is seven point seven. And then all divided by 2. So then B equals so 11 times 7.7. .7. So let's do this real quick. 11 times 7.7 .7 equals 84.7. So that's here 84.7. And then I still got to divide by 2. divided by 2 42.35 so 42.35 and this is going to be feet squared since it's area feet squared so when I multiply feet squared times feet that's going to give me volume but right now it's just surface area so this is going to stay surface area so you'll see here in a second perimeter times my height is feet feet so that's going to be feet squared so then you'll be able to add both the units of measure so right here let's see 42.35 so now surface area it's equal to 3 times 30 3 times 3 is 90 plus 42.35 times 2 so if you could undo this right here It'll be 84.7. Just, you know, use your needle noggin. Equals, so here, my surface area is going to be 90 plus 84.7, which is a big number. So, 90 plus 84.7 is 174.7. So 174.7, 4.7, and it's going to be feet squared as my final answer. And that is how you do number seven, or this one right here. So, so again, if you're just joining us, let me just draw this arrow here. That's where it came from. B. So that was number seven. So now the next one, number eight. So I started off with the formula for surface area of a cone. So here we have to find our R and L. So here 
is what I was talking about Pythagorean theorem and we'll, we'll take the time we'll go nice and easy so here I know that 10.2 I know that half of that so R is equal to half of 10.2 which what it's 5, 5 .6. let's see 10.2 divided by 2 5.1 5.1 sometimes it happens 5.1 and it's miles miles now here so from here to here it's 5.1 and then here it's 14 miles so here my L is this right here that's what I'm trying to find my slant height so I'm gonna have to do a squared plus b squared equals c squared so here 5.1 squared plus 14 squared equals c squared so here in this case I'm just gonna use L squared so we don't have too many letters floating around so let's find our L so L is 5.1 squared so 5.1 times 5.1 is 26.01 so I have 26.01 here so 26.01 plus 14 squared is 14 squared 196 so here is 196 equals L squared now we add those two together so 196 plus 26.01 is equal to 222.01 222.01 is equal to L squared. So now here, in order to get rid of the square, we have to square root both sides. Now, now we square root R 222.1, so we square it. And we get 14.9. So we get 14.9. So L, let's just arrow here, 14.9. And this is in miles. All right, got the space for it. So now we just plug it in and see what we get. So let's start plugging it in. Surface area equals pi. My R is 5.1 plus pi 5.1 and my L is 14.9. Alright, so surface area here. It's equal to 5.1 times 5.1. I know that is. 26.01 since the work we just did pi plus 5.1 times 14.9 I don't know what that is so let's do it 14.9 times 5.1 equals 75.99 75.99 75 pi so now that we have everything in terms of pi, we just add the pi. Take away this guy here. So let's add the pi. 26 plus 26.01. 102, look at that nice whole number. 102 pi. Now if you've ever done, right, in terms of pi, you just put the units, but we're not done yet. We're going to multiply our pi. We're going to 
eat it. So now, 1 or 2 times pi times pi, which is 320.44. So we could just stop it at 0.4. So 320.4, 320.4. Now it's going to be in miles squared. So surface area is always squared. Area is always squared. Guys, is how you do that one. I know it's a lot of work. So that's why I wanted to focus more on surface area instead of volume today. So here we had to find L. So in order to find L, we did our Pythagorean theorem. In order for us to find L that we needed L is because it's part of the formula and we plugged it in to get our surface area formula all right yeah and again if you need to pause pause to break all right now number the next one again could be a little bit but it's all right just take your time follow along pause again if you need to if I go too fast or if I go too slow speed it up all right so here my formula for number nine is a triangular pyramid L is my slant height so I have L so L is equal to 32 P is going to be my perimeter of the base so perimeter of the base just like the last uh, perimeter that we found these lines right here so these lines if you see they're equal to these lines so these are equilateral triangle so that means it's going to be 14 plus 14 plus 14 so P equals 14 and 14 28 plus another 14 let's see 42 let's find out equals let's just multiply times 3 but 42. I like seeing, I like showing you all the steps. 42 and it's kilometers, right? That's the unit. So we have a P, now area of the base. Now here it's a, a little tricky because the area of the base doesn't give us the height. So what do we have to do? You guessed it, Pythagorean theorem. So I know my, I'm just going to have it here, my A squared, my B squared, so I'm looking for C. So here, a squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now my A, I'll just put it here, it's going to be half of 14, right? Like this is exactly cut in half. So it's going to be 7 squared plus B. I'm trying to find what B is. So this is B. And then 14, right? That's just my hypotenuse of so 14 squared. So then I have 49 plus b squared equals 14 and 14 was 196 so I recall correctly but if I don't let's double check 14 squared yes 196 now I subtract 49 on both sides so minus 49 minus 49 to 0 I drop down to b squared equals 196 minus 49 Oh, wrong one. Oops. You guys didn't see anything there. 196 minus 49 equals 147. So then I have to square root that. So B is equal to square root of 147. 12.12 12. let's do that 12.12 12. now this is kilometers right now I plug that in for my area of the base so now I can find my big B so my big B is equal to my base which is the whole thing the whole thing so the whole thing is 14 14 times my height which is 12.12 12 all over 2. Now 12.12 12. 12. 
see times 14 equals 169.74 169.74 so 169.74 all over 2 so then my final answer here let me make this 2 smaller for, for B actually this is getting B not my final answer so B is let's see divide by 2 84.87 84 84.87 so this is a 4 84.87 and this is area so this is kilometer squared so now I could just plug it all in now well, it doesn't look like I have space but let's do it on top then so surface area here equals my L is 32 times my P which is 42 so all over 2 plus my B is 84.87 this equals so let's do the top first so 32 times 42 Hopefully I should have space on the top. So here I'm gonna have 32 times 42. 1344. So let's put this here. So 1344. So on top is 1344 all over 2 plus 84.87, which equals yeah, it's going to take the whole top bar. All right, so 1344 divided by 2, 672 plus 84.87. And then here, my final answer, so surface area, final answer is going to be plus 84.87 equals 756.87 so yeah let's just round that to 0.9 so 756.9 so we have 756 point nine in this kilometer square since it's area kilometer square that is a doozy there all right so that's all the steps I know surface area again I'm just kind of reiterating here it, it did a lot of steps to it so you just, just kind of take it one bite at a time just one step at a time hopefully you understand the whole progression of this again pause if you need to Number 10 here is just an example, same steps. Probably a little bit easier. It's harder when you have to find um, Pythagorean theorem. So it's just not hard, it just takes longer. And I know your attention span is not that um, developed, I suppose. All right, surface area here. Again, it's Pythagorean theorem. That's the formula we're going to use. So, you know, be patient. Stay with me. This video is kind of getting long, but it's all right. It's for your own good, right? Like medicine. Oh. Sorry about those side clicks. It's just I see the link is pressed. All right. So, I want to find what, what R is here. It looks a little bit different here, but if we use this triangle here so if you can see this is a triangle we have our a squared plus b squared equals c squared now for the purposes of time right i'm going to do a little movie magic and hopefully you guys appreciate it so bam there you go so all this work here what we're doing about the triangle here what i was saying is r equals 6.5 again r is from the center here to the edge of the circle 
So what we have to do is set it up. So I put D for diameter because we're going to find the whole thing. The whole length is the bottom of this triangle. So diameter squared plus 14.4, that's my height, which should be right. And then C squared is 19.4. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That's how I set it up. I just use D instead. So that's what we're trying to find out. You do the Pythagorean theorem. You get square root of 169, which is 13. So my diameter is 13. But then half of the diameter is my radius, which is equal to 6.5. So now I have my radius and my height. Now I just got to plug it in. I do the multiplication. I add it. You know, some magic happens here. And then your surface area is equal to 853.6 meters squared. Okay. Now we have two more problems to do. And. Let's see if we'll have enough chance, enough time to do it. Now these word problems, I like them because it lets me know if you know what you're doing, right? So it just kind of picks your brain. So if you have trouble with these, then that's the whole purpose is because it's testing out your understanding. So 14. 14, I'm just gonna just talk about 14 since it's already there. 14, so all this pink right here, we had to find out my slant height. Once I find out my slant height, right, I'm able to use that in my formula to find my my height because I don't know what my height was. So once I find my height, I could find the volume because here the question says if the surface area of the cone the low is 628.32 meters squared, find its volume. So we have to work backwards. So that's why I gave it to you because it's hard working backwards. You have to plug it in and then solve for L. And once you solve for L, we have to solve for H. Once you solve for H, we bring it in here to H. And then we have to solve for B, which is area of the circle, right? The area of the base, which is this 64.64 pi. Multiply it together. You get 960 pi divided by 3 is 320 pi multiplied by pi. So my volume here is 1005.3 meters cubed. Looks like one of the problems we did earlier, right? So take that loss. That's why I remember loss, right? But it was SS. All right, or 55. So 14, I mean 13. The way we do this one here is just plug it in. I just pretty much give you all the the variables right h is here is 36 p is 114 that's my perimeter of the base and then b area of the base is you know base times height divided by two so all we're going to do here is just plug it in now so my surface area and we have to subtract the bottom of it because here i'm going to read the question a diagram of miles skateboard is shown below with its dimensions if miles plans to paint the ramp right excluding the bottom so that means that the bottom is not going to get painted what is the area in which he will paint? So we just do the surface area normally, and then at the end we subtract the area of the bottom. So the looking at as it is now, the where I shaded in here is the red. So that is the base. So 41.8 times 36. This is what we're gonna subtract. So let's just find the area first, the whole total surface area, and then we'll subtract the bottom of it. And that's what he's gonna paint. Let's see. H is 36 my perimeter is 114 plus 2 times area of the base 501.6 and now I just multiply those 36 times 114 equals 4104 so here 4104 Four plus two times five hundred is a thousand. Sixteen is thirty-two, so a thousand three point two. Just my guess. So let's see, two times five hundred one point six. Ooh, yes, one thousand three point two. One thousand three point two. Yes, one thousand three point two. One thousand three. Point two. So now we add those together for our semi final answer. So plus 4104 
5107.2 so 5107.2 now here is our total surface area but now we're going to subtract the bottom because no one sees the bottom of a ramp it's always on the ground right so minus I'm going to just squeeze this in here minus the area of the bottom and then this will be our super secret squirrel answer right our last last final answer so we have 5107.2 so let me put that yeah you'll see it it doesn't it looks hidden the point two here sorry now minus so minus 1504.8 so then 3602.4 so 36 3602.4 and then it is in inches squared which is going to be our answer here and now as you can see that is how you do this assignment so this assignment is kind of lengthy but you have three weeks to do it two weeks or one week if you're staying on top of it uh, but again take your time try to lay it all out if you need more paper or if you write big just grab a scratch piece of paper and you know just hack away at it it does take some time it does take a lot of patience and that's that's math for you you just you know they're just puzzles that you got to solve and you know hopefully again these videos are helping you out um again if you have any questions make sure you email me i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can there's one of me and lots of you so keep that in mind when it takes a little bit for me to answer you back but i try to always keep on top of those things Again, thank you guys. Take care. Uh, make sure you guys keep PG. Don't do anything rated R, right? And stay well, right? Stay well, stay alive.